Medipec BPB is a special target. The disk of gas and dust from which the planets are currently forming was one of the first observed and is a famous laboratory for the study of young solar systems. I don't know if you know this, Thor news is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents September 2015. It almost feels like I am in a bizarre good mood, and that feels good. We are over at the universe today. We are about to watch this amazing video of an exoplanet in motion. We are about to watch one of the most famous exoplanets of all time, Beta Pictoris B. We are about to see the full power of professional science. And if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. I like to get a a little wacky, a little wild, and a little weird on the weekends. So just prepare for that and deal with it. Okay? Let's be amazed at this amazing video of an exoplanet. Ready? Go. Beta pick B, an exoplanet in motion. One, two, three, four. Whoa! Wow! That was, that was amazing! I am amazeballs out! Like, wow, my mind is blown through the roof. That was fantastic. Like, what? That's... Was that like 10 photos, man? 16 at best? By Mark Millar and Blanchier from SETI. Wow. Holy smacks. Is technology really that awesome? That is so cool to think that uh, they could take as many photographs as like half a second of my crappy cell phone, which is barely even a smartphone. <sighs> really, David Dickinson? Exoplanet Beta Pictoris B is the planet X of exoplanets. It's one of the very first ones they've ever photographed a long time ago. Just wow. Wow. Just wow, man. Like, holy wowzers. That is so wow credible. Like, credible. I said credible. That's funny. The motion of an alien world reduced to a looping gif. We truly live in an amazing age. At a joint press release out of the Gemini Observatory and the University of Toronto demonstrates a stunning first. A sequence of direct images showing an exoplanet in motion. Yeah, and that video was a unit shifter, bro. The world imaged is Beta Pictoris B, about 19 parsecs, or 63 light years, distant in the southern hemisphere constellation Pictor, the painter's easel. And wow, you guys have painted a pretty clear picture. They say that pictures are worth a thousand words, but I'm not so sure in this case. The Gemini planet imager working in concert with the Gemini South Telescope based in Chile, captured the sequence. Your GIF's not working, bro. Your dot GIF ain't working. The images span an amazing period of a year and a half, starting in November 2013 and running through April earlier this year. Beta Pictoris B has an estimated 22-year orbit period. Hey, in the year 2035 or so, we'll have a complete animation of its orbit. Oh, awesome. I'm so excited. The current estimates place Beta Pictoris B in the seven times Jupiter mass range, or about Herculubus sized, about plus or minus four Jupiter masses. Well, that's weird. Sta that sounds like a strange standard deviation, man. You think you guys would have your shit down a little tighter, you know what I'm saying? And yes, the high end of that range is flirting with the lower boundary for a substellar brown dwarf. See, we've managed to fit in Planet X, Herculubus, Herculubus, do, do, do the Herculubus, uh, uh, Herculubus. Several exoplanet candidates blur this line, and we suspect that the what is a planet debate that has plagued low mass worlds will one day soon extend into the high end of the mass spectrum as well. Stars are planets, and planets are stars. It's not really that complicated. We covered that in a whole nother Thor News episode that was tremendous, filled with science. But it didn't have doom, so a lot of people didn't watch it. Debris disk, the size of Saturn's orbit around the sun, Beta Pictoris B. Wow, that's pretty close for a brown dwarf. Or Jupiter range. Are you saying that Jupiter is growing in size? It's a hell of a statement. Beta Pictoris has long been a target for exoplanetary research, as it is known to host a large and dynamic debris disk spanning, spanning 4,000 astronomical units across. And remember, an astronomical unit is the distance from the sun to Earth. That is fascinating. Like, if Planet X people wanted to grab onto a planet, you'd think that they would grab onto this one because, you know, we can see it, we can image it, though it technically doesn't look like it's getting bigger. But it is one of the first imaged round dwarfs ever. The host star, Beta Pictoris, is 1.8 times as massive as our sun and 9 times as luminous. That's weird. Somebody do that math for me. It's hurting my brain and it's not making sense. Beta Pic is also a very young star 
at an estimated age of only 8 to 20 million years old. Think, if that star has been fooling around for 20 million years, must be really good at fooling around. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, we're seeing a very young solar system in the active formation. Man, I'd like to fool around in the active formation. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's Friday. Did I mention that? Orbiting its host star, nine astronomical units distant. BPB as an orbit similar to Saturn's. Place Beta Pictoris B in our own solar system, and it would easily be the brightest planet in the sky. All right, so I guess it's in Saturn's orbit. Then magnet diagram screwed me up. Your diagram's supposed to screw people up. Oh, that's Saturn's entire size. I get it now. Oh, okay, I see. Sorry for the miscommunication, people. When you read them in real, when you read them in real time, you know it can screw shit up. The images in the series represent the most accurate measurements of a planet's position ever made, says astronomer Maxwell Millar, Blanchard of the Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics at the University of Toronto. With the GPI, we were able to see both the disk and the planet at the exact same time. With our combined knowledge of the disk and the planet, we're really able to get a sense of the planetary system's architecture and how everything interacts. A recent paper released in the Astrophysical Journal described observations of BPB made with the Gemini Planet Imager. As with bodies in our own solar system, refinements in the orbit of Beta Pectoris B will enable astronomers to understand the dynamic relationship it has with its local environment. Already the orbit of Beta Pectoris B appears inclined out of our line of sight in such a way that a transit of the stellar disks is unlikely to occur. This is such the case with most exoplanets, which elude the detection hunters such as Kepler's Space Telescope. As a matter of fact, watching the animation, it looks like Beta Pectoris B will pass behind the occluding disk, occluding disk, occluding disk, and out of view of the Gemini planet imager in the next few years. It's remarkable that Gemini is not only able to directly image exoplanets, but it's also capable of effectively making movies of them orbiting their parent star. I mean, that's how you make a movie, dude. You take a photograph, and then you take another photograph, and then you take another photograph, and you stack them all together. <laughs> okay, it's not that complicated. Says National Science Foundation Astronomy Division Program Director Chris Davis in Monday's press release. The NSF is one of the five international partners that funds the Gemini Telescope Program. Beta Pick BPB is a special target. The disk of gas and dust from which the planets are currently forming was one of the first observed and is a famous laboratory for the study of young solar systems. The Gemini Planet Imager is part of the GPI Exoplanet Survey. G Pies. G Spot Pies. Does that sound good? Does that sound gross? Which discovered its first exoplanet, 51 Iridian B, just last month. The survey will target 600 stars over the next three years. The current tally of known exoplanets currently sits at 1,958 and counting, with thousands more in the queue, courtesy of Kepler, awaiting confirmation. NASA, the search for new worlds is here. Bum 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 bum. I'm sure it is, but will they tell us about it? This I do not know. Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. What it does is it looks for planets crossing in front of their star. It's one of the best ways to directly observe exoplanets. Mankind needs a new mission. Yeah, how about give up war? And maybe put a kibosh on the secrecy. For shadows of other worlds. Exploring distant horizons. Yada, yada, yada. Boring. Yawn. Ooh, dark matter star. What planets will we find? I don't know, dude. I don't know. And as the new spacecraft, such as the TESS, take orbit in 2018, we wouldn't be surprised if the tally of exoplanets hits five digits by the end of this decade. An amazing view of a brave new world is in motion. It's truly a golden age of exoplanetary science, with more exciting discoveries to come. All right, there you go. I covered it. It is covered. God bless everybody. Now let's have a great ass, party ass, celebrate ass weekend. All right, peace out. Herculubus, do, 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 do the Herculubus. Uh, uh, Herculubus. Do the Herculobus. It's the Planet X dance craze sweeping the nation. Have auroras? Wait, no, I just confused myself.